The next level great seven on seven tournament was this weekend in Myrtle Beach and I was there to take in all of the action on Saturday and Sunday. I want to start with talking about the quarterbacks. 2026 quarterbacks Jared Curtis, Samaj Beals, and Zaid Lott really blew me away. I really liked Jared Curtis and the tools that he brings to the table. He has really just all the traits that you're looking for in a big time quarterback. And it's obvious given his ranking. He's in the top 40, top 50 of the uh, rivals 250 in the 2026 class. And he's got the size, he's got athleticism, he's got incredible arm strength. He has a quick and, and compact release. I uh, really like what he's able to do on the field. His team didn't perform as well as he would have liked, but I think that you are going to see a lot of those traits shine the rest of this offseason. We liked uh, Samaj Beals. He's got a really smooth throwing motion. And Zaid Lott is a guy you're going to hear a lot about. He backed up uh, Jaden Davis this past season at Providence Day in North Carolina. He's grown a considerable amount and put on uh, plenty of muscle mass. He's got a big time arm. He's still getting a feel for the timing on offense and the and and really just uh, getting getting familiar with those receivers that he's fairly new. Uh, you know, new to throw to, I guess, but uh, I'm looking for big things from him this upcoming season, his first full season as a starter at Providence Day. Uh, you know, the receivers and tight ends in Myrtle Beach were really outstanding. Uh, Marshall, Marshall Pritchett uh, was really active. He's not so much a traditional tight end, but he's too big to be considered a normal receiver. Uh, so we'll call him a tight end, but he's got really great athleticism. He catches everything that's thrown to him. And I really like him as a route runner uh, for a tight end. He's a, a really a, a tough mismatch for defensive backs and or linebackers, whoever lines up across from him. And I think that's going to shine the rest of this off season and heading into his senior season. Um, I like Brody Keefe, the 2026 receiver from Charlotte. He's got really soft soft hands and, and great length in his arms. He's a big target for quarterbacks and he's going to continue to draw headlines the rest of his high school career. Hollis Davidson, the Auburn uh, tight end commit out of Georgia, is a massive target. He'll be targeted a lot in the red zone uh, throughout the rest of his high school career and once he gets to Auburn. Pretty soft hands, I think, and uh, a decent route runner. We we'll look forward to him to be more used more as a traditional tight end on the end line, put his hand in the ground and uh, make sure that he is uh, con contributing in the running game as well. Braswell Thomas, the 2025 receiver out of New Jersey. This was my first time really getting a close look at him, and he was very impressive. He is a very strong receiver who does a good job high-pointing the ball, and he's very difficult to uh, really, well, the, to, in the seven-on-seven -seven setting, uh, to tag in that setting. But during a real game, he'll be very difficult to get to the ground. He's very strong. He's a good route runner and pretty explosive for a guy his size. The best receiver of the event, though, in my opinion, was Sam Turner, a 2025 prospect out of Georgia. He had as he has an official visit set up to Georgia. He's fairly heavily recruited at this point. He'll be getting rated in the not too distant future on Rivals.com. I think he's severely overlooked uh, by the recruiting industry overall, and uh, just an outstanding prospect. He did a great job consistently catching the ball on intermediate crossing routes. He did a, has a really good feel for. Uh, finding soft points in the zone defense, and he's an excellent route runner. He creates a lot of separation uh, from defensive backs when he's off the line of scrimmage and into his route. Uh, it seems like he's a very strong player as well. He wasn't slowed down by physical defensive backs, and the hustling quarterbacks were able to find him on a number of occasions uh, in the middle of the field, towards the sideline, and down the field. I think he'll see an uptick in his recruitment as the offseason goes on. I really like the pair of uh, uh, Clemson commits, Marquise Henderson, a running back uh, athlete commit for Clemson, and then a receiver commit, Juju Preston. Got an updated look at Juju. I've seen him a couple of times now, and he's a smooth receiver prospect. He's going to need to add more muscle mass so he doesn't get knocked around a little bit, but he has good downfield speed, and I think he's got some pretty soft hands. Quarterbacks at, at Clemson will find him a lot on outlet passes there. And Marquise Henderson is really explosive. He does a good job getting down the field. He's um, really shifty as well. So defensive backs had a very hard time sticking with him. Look for him to create some big plays when he does suit up for the Tigers. Defensively, things really start with Samari Matthews, a 2026 cornerback, one of the top players in that class. He was excellent 
throughout the entire tournament. He's just over six feet tall, knows how to play physically, has great speed, really quick feet, and can turn and run when he needs to. Really good instincts. He had a series of, of plays on Sunday where he had an interception, a couple of batted passes. He was shadowing the other team's top receiver at certain points during these games and uh, really liked the uh, the future for him. Onus Kanembani, uh, a four-star safety. Um, he's in South Carolina right now. Uh, very physical defensive back. He played cornerback and uh, projects likely as a safety, but uh, really like the future for him as well. Julian uh, Peterson is a name you're going to hear a lot more over the next few years. He's a 2026 cornerback out of New Jersey, a physical, big defensive back who understands how to use his length and disrupt timing uh, from the receivers with their quarterbacks. Um, and then at, at the linebacker position, Thomas Davis Jr. continues to get better in coverage. He's added about an inch and remains in the 215, 220 range. Uh, and he's just a really, really impressive player. I think he's got great length. He understands what offenses are trying to do, and he has a really good feel for where he needs to be in coverage. He had a, at least one interception, and he got a, his hands on the ball a number of times this weekend. Uh, again, I'm Adam Friedman, National Recruiting Analyst and Rankings Director for Rivals.com. Please remember to, to subscribe to the Rivals.com YouTube channel and follow all, follow all of the Rivals social media accounts. And of course, you can find all of our content on Rivals.com.